Hey guys, it's Tilly and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with a Never Never Book Box unboxing and do you guys hear that? I think it's coming from inside the box. I guess there's only one way to find out. I better open it. Oh my god! They gave me a goose! Best book subscription box ever. So I'm just gonna put that gosling down there and now we're going to continue opening the book box. So before I actually get into this, um, I am pretty much like a literal piece of crap because I've had this book box now for about two weeks and because of work and life things at the moment, I haven't actually done this video or unboxed it at all yet. I did cut the tape off and that was as far as I got and then I was like, no, I need to have my genuine shocks and surprises. But unfortunately my dog did, however, smell out the food item in this box and because of that he decided to chew up some of the labels for it and empty this box. So I've put it together hoping that I have put stuff roughly as organized and neat as what everyone at the Never Never Book Box would do, but I don't think I lived up to the same justice. So this is going to be a shock to me going through this as well. So first of all we have their little cards, which I absolutely love the wax seals on these. It makes it really unique. So the theme of this book box is the stories we keep. So the food item <laughs> is this lovely jar full of chocolate looking food. There's literally teeth marks on the jar lid from when they try to pry into this cup, but it is mine because it is still intact. So from the torn up label that was attached to that, make your own delicious mug cake. You may not grow taller, but you will grow happier. Ah, uh, Alice's size altering mug cake. Bake me. I'm probably going to do this for my lunch. Like that's how you adult, right? You just eat desserts all the time. I'm not too sure what that string was attached to. Um, I'm hoping it was just the mug cake and they haven't ruined anything else. Ah, I'm just gonna make a mess. Sorry mum. So we have a book badge pin. This one is from Femcraft. So in this one you have books and it goes out into a thought bubble with space in mind. <gasps> This is so cute! It is a magnetic page bookmark of Alice in Wonderland and I absolutely love the artwork like these ones here. So this one is by the Rabbit Tribe and just I I just love it. But if you guys know me, I rarely use bookmarks because I don't like to ruin my bookmarks. I like to keep them forever being this perfect. We have this absolutely stunning print. If I am saying this correctly, I'm pretty sure it is from His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. I'm just going to check that so I don't have to embarrass myself. Boom! I was correct. It is Philip Pullman and it is absolutely stunning and I'm just going to have to start like making room on my walls to put different artworks like this because they deserve to be seen. So we also got the ebook version of Solace, the Immortal Jean book one by Jacinta Marie. It sounds like it's going to be pretty interesting. So it says, welcome to Solace. We're the generation that laughs at death. Definitely think that I could be a good part of Solace. Reincarnation. What was once considered a gift of immortality has become an eternity of nightmares. Nadia Richards lives in a world plagued by reincarnation, a system of recycling souls where all past memories, personalities, and traumatic events are relived daily in disjointed sequences. Trapped within their own warped realities, not even the richest and most powerful are saved from their own minds unraveling. Madness is the new human nature, and civilizations are crumpling beneath themselves trying to outrun it. Within a society that ignores death, Nadia appears to be the one exception to the reincarnation trap. Born without any reincarnation memories, with printless eyes, the hot-tempered 19-year-old quickly becomes the ultimate prize to all those wishing to end the vicious cycle, or for some, to ensure they could invade death forever. That actually sounds super lit. Oh, okay, so the book is on top of this, but I just saw how stunning this notebook is by Mitsuki. I love this. This is one of my new favorite looking notebooks. I really love nature-themed notebooks. I have a few of them, but this green is just absolutely stunning. Lined paper in it as well. Props. I love this. This is so amazing. Okay, sorry. Now for the actual book. Mystery. It's like Christmas come early. Okay, okay. We got a bookmark. I don't want to look at the bookmark because it will tell me what book it is. Enjoy the Journey by Elizabeth Jane Corbett. The Tides Between. So we also have a letter from the author which I'll read later on. But as for the actual story, I haven't heard of this book before. It is really, really stunning though. And I'm guessing because it has a ship on there, it's going to do something to do with the ocean. And I automatically love books themed around the ocean. So it's a good start. In 1841, on the eve of her departure from London, Bride's mother demands she forget her dead father and prepare for a sensible adult life in Port Phillip. Desperate to save her childhood, 15-year-old Bridie is determined to smuggle a notebook filled with her father's fairy tales to the far side of the world. When Reese Bevan, a soft-voiced young storyteller and fellow traveller, realises Bridie is hiding something, a magical friendship is born. But Reese has his own 
secrets, and the words written in Bridie's notebook carry a dark double meaning. As they inch towards their destination, Reese's past returns to haunt him. Bridie grapples with implications from her dad's final message. The pair take refuge in fairy tales, little expecting the trouble it will cause. That actually sounds like a really interesting read. If you guys have read it, do let me know how you liked it. I'm sure I will be doing a review of this one soon, so keep an eye out for that. Ah, oh, I have loved everything in this box, and I cannot wait to enjoy this mug cake. And I also cannot wait to like fully understand what that goose was for. Thank you to the Never Never Book Box subscription. I will leave all the links to them below so you go and check them out. And unfortunately, they do not come with real life geese. Uh, well, goose or gosling. God, I really screwed that one up. But you guys can see more of these guys on my channel. There are three of them. This one is just pink, but you know, still very, very cute. So that's all for today. Go and check out these guys. Um, I will be posting photos of them on my Instagram along with these little ones too. And that's all that I've got for you today. So guys, have a lovely bookish day and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to show you guys my new bath product range that I have just started on my website at tillyandherbooks.com. I am very excited to show you guys